Oh, brother. Yeah, I was probably... Well, the oldest kid there was 12, and I think Dale might have been 11. So that would have made me like 7 years old. I think I was 7 years old. And I might have been the youngest one amongst this group. But anyway, we lived in Babbitt at that time, which is a little military housing community near Hawthorne. And um, what we did is... All summer long, when our dads would go to work at 7.30 in the morning, we went to work at 7.30 in the morning. And our houses were next to, well, I have to describe this. We had the community where all the houses were, and then there was a sidewalk, and then a street, and then an alfalfa field, and then a four-lane highway, and then desert out towards the military base. And we found a place out across this four-lane highway, probably a quarter of a mile past the four-lane highway. We found a place where the Navy had dug a pit with a bulldozer. It was probably 30 feet, 50 feet, 60 feet, I don't know, long. Probably looked bigger to a kid. And it was probably 10 or 12 feet deep. And because a bulldozer has to get in and out of it, it had a way for it to ramp down and ramp up on the other side and kind of steep on the long sides so that the long side was kind of steep. But anyway, what we they had started to put into this pit chunks of asphalt. And the asphalt um, was, um, um, oh, I don't know, about this big, each piece. And it was about six inches thick. Pretty heavy for a seven-year-old like me. That when I went to pick one up, it was pretty heavy to pick up. Uh, but we would build road with those. So we would level out or all the way around this pit. And it would go down, and we made it go up and around, all the way around it. And about three feet wide, we would set these large chunks of asphalt together kind of like stones or like uh, bricks. And we would fill in the chinks in between the asphalt with dirt so that it was flat. So it was mostly asphalt and a little bit of dirt in between them. And we, had, we built a wagon. We made our own wagon. We had some wagon wheels from somewhere and we built this wagon. It was pretty heavy duty. Anyway, we could run this wagon up and down all the way around this pit. And then also, for, for this four-lane highway, not too far away, they had dug ditches to direct the water away from the highway when it would rain to keep the highway from flooding. We found the, that that ditch from the highway came to us about 20, oh, I don't know. It may have been 50 feet away from our, our pit. And we dug an additional trench about three feet deep and about three feet wide from that ditch to our pit. And we put a sluice gate on it so we could control it. And then what would happen is we'd wait for a thunderstorm. You'd always get thunderstorms in August or July. And when it did, sometimes it could rain pretty good and that ditch would fill up. And we would run out to our fort when we saw it rain. And we'd open up our sluice gate and we would let the water down into this pit, and it became a reservoir. And, um, and then when we had it as full as we wanted, we shut the gate. And it was kind of cool. Now, we dreamed about swimming in this thing, but it was just muddy and stuff. Had Indian soap, you know, the bubbles, lots of that, and it was really dirty brown. We thought, maybe not on the swimming. <laughs> we, we had dreams about swimming, but... No, <laughs> we decided Why? not to. It was just too dirty, too nasty. No, no, no. Why'd you do it? Why'd you build? Because we wanted to swim in it. Mm. <laughs> well, anyway, um, also, on the edges of this thing, or on one edge of it, I think on both edges, on either side where, the, where it was more upright, we dug trenches into the side of this thing, this pit, so that it was about three feet down, and then we would dig forward away from the pit, about six feet, 
and then we turn 90 degrees and go about five feet and turn 90 degrees again and go another five or six feet and then turn again and go another five or six feet so that it was an open air trench and then we got fencing material which there's plenty of fencing material from town right we just go get it from what was laying around town put it on a wagon haul it across the street across the alfalfa field across the four lane highway across the desert to our fort and we would put these one by six planks we would cut them so that they would be the right length and built a roof across this entire trench and it made a cave then we pretended we were miners <laughs> or we were world war ii depending on what we were playing you know army or something you know whichever and then we put dirt on top of that and we found that by jumping on it even you couldn't break it it was really strong it was safe we knew we were safe you know we'd crawl in there hands and knees <laughs> go around the corner, go around the other corner, and we'd ha have flashlights because it got dark <laughs> as you got in there further. As soon as you made it a corner, boy, it was really dark. You had to be brave to go in there. <laughs> and uh, 